What is going on, everyone? Welcome back, and we are picking up right where we left off. And as promised, we are going to go get ourselves a new companion. Yes, we're going to go buy a companion and um, get them built up. Because Regil is great, but he's not a main tank kind of a guy. He is very much an off tank kind of a guy. And um, so we are going to build someone that's a bit tankier. All right, go to custom. There he is. All right, so I found this portrait. Oh my God, it's Henry Cavill as a Death Knight or a Dread Knight. And um, <laughs> I sent it to Faint Tour, and he's like, yeah, no, if you start another playthrough, uh, I'm not watching. I was like, mm, some bro you are. That's all right. I found a way to use it anyway, so uh, that is the portrait we are going to go with, because it just looks so badass. I wish we had this armor in the game, but alas, we do not. Um, okay, so we are starting off as a cavalier, a, a gendarme, gendarme, anyway, uh, it is a subclass of cavalier, and, um, our race is actually going to be Dampier. Now, this build was inspired by RPG Division on YouTube. And um, so, yeah, big shout out to him. Uh, thanks for uh, putting this together. Uh, if you're looking for some uh, great custom classes or different builds for your characters or companions, go check them out. There are several great YouTubers out there putting out uh, build videos. And um, I just don't know enough about the mechanics to... Well, I mean, I know enough about the command, command... But words are hard. The mechanics. I understand the mechanics of the game, but these guys take theory crafting and practical application of, uh, of player building to a whole new level. Um, okay, so uh, we are going to go with the Rushi or the uh, Jiangshi Born. It's going to give us a plus two bonus to our strength and intelligence and a minus two penalty to dex. And we also get a racial bonus to mobility and knowledge world checks. Uh, for our background selection, we're going to go regional. And we are going to go the River Kingdom's Daredevil. And basically, we add mobility to our list of class skills. Uh, the, what we become proficient in is not important. Uh, but we also get a plus two bonus to AC against attacks of opportunity. Since we're going to be charging around the field, we may be leaving ourselves open to the occasional attack of opportunity. So getting this bonus to AC for that is going to be uh, really good. So um, our starting stats, uh, we're gonna bump this up to 20, and then this goes up to 12. Uh, Constitution goes to 13. 15. Wisdom we take down to seven so that we can and uh, intelligence goes to eleven. <clears throat> Our first skill point uh, that we get is going to be going back into intelligence so that we can get that to twelve, and then our charisma goes to fourteen. So real beefy character here, and uh, we are going to take athletics and mobility. Yes our first levels once we uh take our intelligence to 12 we'll get additional points to put in for all the things that we want uh but right now uh that is what we're going to need uh eventually we will need two points into knowledge arcana to get into our prestige class and then for this we are going to take a very special feat that only our race, our Dampier race, uh, allows us, and that is Life Dominant Soul. You are healed by both the channeled positive, because as a Dampier, you have a negative energy affinity, which means that you are healed by negative energy, much like all the rest of the undead are. But that also means that you're damaged by positive energy. And every time we have Daren, uh, fire off a healing spell, we don't want to be damaging our freaking tank. So 
You are healed by both the channeled positive energy used to heal living creatures and channeled negative energy used to heal undead, but both only heal half the normal amount. So we have to keep that in mind, but at least we have this option here. So our vampire companion will be able to heal, be healed by uh, Daerin. So <clears throat> here we're going to take Order of the Sword. And uh, this is going to give us Mounted Mastery. That's going to be something very important. And at 8th level, whenever the Cavalier makes a charge attack while mounted, he adds his Mount's Strength modifier to the damage roll in addition to his own. That's fantastic. Uh, we're going to go Black Horse because, well, we can. Uh, I don't think there's any actual difference. I think it's just the model of... Uh, of the horse in game and then for our bonus feat we are going to take weapon focus and we are going to go with where is it there it is scythe and the reason why we're going with scythe is scythe has the largest critical multiplier at times four and then later on we're going to bump that even more and it's going to be times five so every time we crit it's going to be times five damage so that's going to be ridiculous later on uh for our deity there's two that we could really go with we could go with ergothoa and her favorite weapon is scythe but that's not needed for this character favorite weapon would be more for like a cleric um or we could go with zon kathan also known as the Midnight Lord, Dark Prince, Prince of Pain, God of Darkness, Enemy, Loss, and Pain, possesses one of the most twisted and evil minds in the Great Beyond. I, I think I'm going to go with Ergothoa, uh, because she is the goddess of the undead. And so we're just going to stick with that. We're going to be lawful evil. And uh, we want to give our guy some heft here. And they, they have changed up. This is the new DLC. <clears throat> Just came out yesterday. Uh, where we can actually zoom in and uh, take a look. So I know that they've added uh, some different faces and stuff like that. So uh, let's go with... I like that one. Um, I don't think we want to do any scars. So we'll skip the scars. Hairstyle. I want to see if we can't find something that kind of... Maybe that. It kind of matches our... Um, yeah, it kind of. Let's see what else. Do, is there something else maybe? No. Nope. Yeah, that's going to be the best one. Yeah, that'll work. And his hair is more like a... Hmm. That'll work. A war paint. Wow, 38. Holy crap. Let's uh, turn the color of the war paint to black so we can really see it. And we're going to move hairstyle to bald temporarily so we can really see these war paints. That looks really cool. Let's go. Oh. A ton more. Let me tell you, there are a ton more war paints here now. All right, so we will go back to. I like that one. 
And then hairstyle will bump back to here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, nope, that's right there. Um, and we did we adjust his... Hmm. That kind of looks good. Looks like he's, you know, but yeah, he's undead. He does not look well. <laughs> All right. Uh, primary color. Uh, let's go black. And then we will uh, we'll leave this. Maybe go dark, dark red, red. We'll go with the red. All right. Cool. Yes. Yeah, so this whole zooming in thing. That's, I don't know. What, I mean, they made it as a DLC. Really, it's just an update to the game. <laughs> it, it was a free DLC. But I'm glad that they put it in because that's one thing that, uh, that we did not have before. Um, we are going to give him. I'll go ahead. No. None shall escape. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the aggressive. And his name. What are we going to name him? We're gonna name him Chad. No. Um. We're going to call him du, du, du. Hmm. I'm so torn. You would think of all the stuff that I did that I would have figured out a name. <laughs> uh we are going to call him. That's what we're gonna call him. B. No, I'm not cheaping out. I'm thinking vengeance. I'm thinking vendetta. I'm thinking this dude's pissed. And V, if you've ever read the comics V for Vendetta or watched the movie V for Vendetta, yeah. Or maybe not. This guy is a he's a death knight. No, we'll go with V. Will it not let me? Ah, it, oh, there it goes. Okay, I was going to say, it will not let me do it. Uh, let's give him a, a, a birthday of, it does not matter. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, uh, at first level, we got a bunch of stuff here. And, uh, yeah, un he has undead resistances against disease and mind-affecting uh, mind affecting effects. Uh, he has negative energy affinity. He resists, uh, he takes no penalties from energy drain effects, which means that uh, the strength drain, all of those things that we normally go, oh, crap, I got to reload because I didn't, you know, put death ward on or something like that. We don't need to worry about that with him. He is not going to take strength or con uh, drains or anything like that. Okay. Now, there's his horse. Uh, we are going to take 11 levels total in Cavalier. So that'll be easy enough. So now we got four points to distribute. Okay. So we are going to go Athletics... Mobility, uh, persuasion is going to be max. Let's go ahead and take our, we'll take a point in uh, knowledge arcana because we only need two points in that. And then we're going to put a point into persuasion. And uh, by my honor, he is going to take uh, lawful will. All right. I'm surprised they don't have a, a better card for that. Anyway. Third level. Okay. 
And at third level, we are going to take um, Mounted Combat. And for our bonus feat, we are going to take Armor Focus, Heavy Armor Focus. And the AC granted by any heavy armor that you equip is increased by one. See, again, we, we're, we're, we're making our tanky character here. Now, he is not going to be tanking alone. Of course, he's going to be on his horse. The horse is the real tank, let me tell you. All right, fourth level. Uh, we are going to put our point into intelligence, and then everything else is going to be dumped into strength. So now we get five points here. Take our second point in Arcana. And um, we also get a plus two bonus for Knowledge World. I know that Lore Religion is our... Uh, is a class skill, but we need... I, I don't think that we need the Knowledge World. I think that it's just a good thing to take. Because we're getting the bonus for it, even though we only have a plus one to Intelligence. Okay, uh, now four points. Uh, we are done with Knowledge Arcana. That gets us into our uh, our Prestige class. And at fifth level, we are going to take Boon Companion. Where is it? Why am I not seeing it? There we go. So essentially what Boon Companion does is your bond with your animal companion is unusually close. The abilities of your animal companion are calculated as though your class were four levels higher to a maximum effective total. And uh, the reason we're doing this is so that our companion will stay up with us when we move out of Cavalier. There we go. Three points this time. We need to get our persuasion max on next level. Okay, so at sixth level, we are going to take blind fight. Easy enough. Now here is where we can max out our persuasion. And at seventh level, we are going to take outflank. Because our horse is going to have outflank, and I, I know that Regil also has outflank. Um, so this is going to be procking all the time, which means that our horse and Regil and uh, all, all of us are going to be getting additional attacks of opportunity, uh, without flank. Okay, eighth level, uh, strength. And we get our three points. Those go, all of these athletics, mobility, persuasion, we're maxing those out all the way up. And then when we start getting additional points, that's when we dump them into Knowledge World. So next level, when we get four points, we, we do our normal three, and then we put that extra point into Knowledge World. Okay, so for eighth level, we are going to get Spirited Charge. When mounted and using the charge action, you deal double damage with melee weapons. Yeah, absolutely. And level nine. There we go. And at level nine, we are going to take, we get two feats this round, and we are going to take power attack. Um, is it up here? Oh, there it is. Okay, so power attack. And then for our bonus feat, we're going to take Hornigan Smash. When you damage an opponent with a power attack, you may make an immediate Persuasion Intimidate check as a free action to attempt to demoralize your opponent. Fantastic. We want to get these guys flat-footed. You know, anything that we, we deal with their flat-footed AC versus their normal armor class. All right. Uh, tenth level...
tenth level was very easy. And this is our last level in Cavalier. There we go. And for 11th level, we are going to be taking Dazzling Display. So your skill with your favorite weapon can frighten enemies. While wielding the weapon in which you have weapon focus, you can perform a bewildering show of prowess as a full round action. Make a persuasion intimidate check to demoralize all foes within 30 feet who can see your display. And we're using that as a precursor uh, for uh, other things like uh, shatter defenses and stuff like that. So, Okay, for 12th level, we now have Hell Knight unlocked. We could have taken it sooner, but just we wanted to get all the Cavalier stuff out of the way. So there's Hell Knight. And he gets his point in strength. And he is going to go with Athletics mobility there and we are going with order of the chain they value social order and responsibility seeking to root out anarchist fugitives they have reputations as relentless hunters who drag lawbreakers away in chains these hell knights keep meticulous count blah 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 at first level you gain a plus two bonus to cmb and cmd this bonus increases by plus one at fifth and ninth level so those bonuses are the reason why we're taking order of the chain and we also get smite chaos hello okay so now we get our three points dump that there and at level 13 we are taking or is it up here Intimidating prowess. Add your strength modifier to your persuasion skill when used to intimidate checks. It's nice. In addition to your charisma modifier. That's why we put points into charisma uh, for a melee character so that we're getting this additional bonus for our persuasion. Okay. And uh, he is done with that. Now we're going to go ahead and go into our mythic abilities. And we are going to start with Hmm. Oh, maybe we can't pick it up yet. Yeah, I was just kind of looking at some of them that we wanted to take. And that's Totally fine. Yeah, I don't even see it on here yet, so that's fine. Okay, uh, so let us take... Mythical Beast. Your animal companion gains a bonus to its strength, dex, and constitution equal to half your mythic rank plus one. Its attacks now ignore damage reduction except for in slash dash. So now our horse is stout. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Weapon focus mythic sign. Okay. Complete. And we will go with always. <clears throat> Not with always. Um, do, do, do. Improve. We'll go with 
Mythic Charge. Your charge attacks deal additional divine damage equal to 1d6 per mythic rank. All right. And I think... Oh, we got one more. Damn. Already level 4 mythic? We are going to go with... Do, do, do. Hold on here. Uh, flawless attacks. You only suffer negative four penalty on your iterative attacks instead of negative five. That thing stacks. It makes your, your additional attacks per round so much better. So yeah, flawless attacks is fantastic. Okay. Now, he's all leveled up, ready to go. Let's get our horse going. Our horse is going to be a bulwark, uh, more tankier. Uh, if we wanted a more offensive one, we would go with bully. And here, since his strength is so good, we're going to give him athletics. And since he's up front, we're going to go ahead and give him perception as well. Or maybe, you know what, no. Regil is taking care of that. Let's do mobility. There we go. Okay. And for our first, it is going to be weapon. Up here. No. You know what, let's just take toughness, this first one. Because what we want is weapon focus, but um, he has a prereq. He needs a base a, a bab of one, so it's okay to swap the toughness right now. And our horse's name is going to be oh well, death. Oh, and uh, really quick, uh, if we jump back here, there is a death touched uh, horse that gives you a uh, negative energy affinity. The problem is positive energy would harm it. And it doesn't get any good bonuses. So having, while it would look cool to have a death touched horse, right? It's, uh, th that's all RP right there. That's, uh, it's not going to offer as much. See, we want armor proficiency and sturdy and stuff like that. The sturdy is going to uh, gain a damage reduction and at fourth level and every four levels thereafter, it increases by one. So bulwark is definitely the one that we want. Um, horse's name is death. I wish they had a different portrait for the black horse, but eh, it is what it is, right? Okay, bulwark. Points. Okay. Oh, oh, good. Now it's rolling us into it. And here we want weapon focus bite. And at this level, we want to put one point in intelligence because there's a couple uh, feats that we want to take that require at least an intelligence of three. So, of course, all of our other points will be going into strength. All right. Um, for the next one, we want dodge. As a horse that dodges. I love it. I want to give it crane wing. Crane style. Horse rears up and like puts its paws in a weird formation. That'd be 